automated self-driving trucks. And that'll put several million truck drivers out of work. Now, those are guys that can't transfer to something else because they're uneducated. They're like this, this guy uh, in here that worked for Hunt. He, he has no chance to go to work for a, for a, a multinational or uh-huh. for a startup. Because he only knows how to do one thing, sit behind the windshield. WA4D. Dog, did you say Ken? You sound like a Hillary guy. Good for you. I, I'm not a Hillary guy, although I could, I would, I don't think anybody of that, that crowd on the Republican side are palatable. I could, I could get behind her. I think you would. However, though, she'd get behind you. Well, here let me let's let's talk about that a minute. It's the, the the amateur radio community. I have never ever ever heard anybody say anything good about the current sitting president on ham radio. They belittle him. They cuss him. They say Obamacare with drooling sarcasm, uh, and yet it's by most measures it's 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 been a rough start, rocky start, but it's worked and it's got a lot about a twenty fifteen million I think or more people that didn't have health care before now do with subsidies so I, I for one am in favor of that but 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 the bottom line is these things are where the american people are most americans wanted that program and it's ham radio operators who are left behind who are are not uh, in tune with what the country wants do you know what the average age of a ham radio operator is well, it's 60 plus i think thank you very much Are not even in the loop. They're on the dwindle like you. You retired. Ah, that's an important day, gentlemen. I, I today, September one, twenty fifteen. I became a Medicare. Uh, I'm in the program. You finally are in the program. Medicare. I don't draw Social Security yet, but I'm, I'm 65 in, in a week. And I, I'm on Medicare. Now. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good luck in the contest. I'm a, actually I'm going to start smoking again at age. Matt, as bad as he talks about this country, if he's any kind of a man, he'll send that Social Security back check back to him for sure. You know, I'd hate to have him take from a country that's so terrible you know if they're so terrible he shouldn't he shouldn't take anything from them oh, Darren, if he doesn't need it why should he take it well that's my point if he doesn't need it if he don't need it then he should not take it that's absolutely correct he should he should be the the man that he says he is but he's not i guarantee you like 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 many people have said he's a liar he's a deceiver i'm still waiting for the checks man he was going to send checks to my boys for all their uh, their their a's that they had in their class and uh their classes and uh and, and for the for their college i haven't gotten that one dime out of him he's a liar I know him as a liar, and so I don't really talk to him. I talk about him, but I won't talk to him. He ain't worth talking to. The Bible says when you talk to a fool, you become a fool yourself. So oh, I, I refuse to talk to him because he's an idiot. You know he's an atheist, right? Well, yeah, I don't care what he is. You know, I mean, he'll hey, he'll be a believer. I promise you that. Oh my God. Okay, he'll, he'll, he will. <laughs> he will be a believer. I can mark your word on that there. Uh, that, uh, uh, or mark my word, I should say, on that there. That he will be a believer because uh, every knee will bow. But I'm not going to get into that there tonight. I just want to jump back in there, W09E for identification. That, uh, you know, uh, you will know them for as they are. He's a liar, and, and that's all there is to it. He talks about how terrible this country is and all the people that are that are taken from it. He's 65. He doesn't work, as you just heard. He forces his wife to work. Uh, they live in a house that's not paid for. It'll never be paid for, so somebody's going to have to pick up the, the tab on that deal. He is worse than an infidel. That's the problem. He, he he's a he's a liar, 
and uh, he's a he's a betrayer of our country. Uh, you know, anybody that would talk about a country like he does, and then turn around and say how great he is and helping. how much he has, and then take take the money that he doesn't need. That kind of tells you about the guy right there. Ron's out there hollering for you. I cannot, uh, I cannot hear him. He can't hear you, Ron. I have to uh, relay that, but uh, anyways, uh, that's uh, that's just my spill. I know I had to just jump out there. I, I could hardly stand it. I was on the phone. I hated to have to leave in the midst of the goods, but uh, there we go, you know. So I don't know if he was he was out there still spewing his 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 lies and his his, his garbage, but uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, just just ask him about his wife, you know, uh, that he forces her to have to go to work. She still works. If you look at the house there, yeah, it's, it's new, but it's a condominium in a subdivision. And they're, they're <laughs> listen, the, the grass that they have growing around there is nothing but sawgrass. People pay thousands of dollars to get rid of that stuff. They can't get rid of it because he lives on Sawgrass Hill. And... uh or uh, over by it, I should say. But uh, that's what they call the hill there. I know some folks that live over in that area. And uh, if you notice right across the street from it, you have low-income housing. So he, he, he built himself a, a fairly decent house with uh, the bank's money. He's living off of credit. He's got a, a high mortgage. I told you what his mortgage was. So he's what you call house poor. That's why he doesn't have an amplifier or nothing. He just got a cheap radio that he's talking off of with a little wire sticking out back there and a little vertical because they're not allowed to have nothing over there. But uh, he at the corner of his house there, uh, just like I said, about two, lot, two empty lots over uh, is the bus stop, and his wife catches that every morning. I would have to have an address to to to, to verify that. Well, uh, I will be more than glad to give that to you. I had I had given all that information out uh, probably oh about a month and a half ago. I hear you this time, Ron. Stand by. I gave all that out and uh, and uh, I didn't keep it. And I probably I don't know if I'll probably look it up again or not. But I, I had it all written down. Ben, he was he was real anal about uh, investigating everybody else and this and that and all that other stuff. I checked his yearly incomes out for the past uh, 15 years. Uh, he's also lied about that. He didn't make over no hundred thousand dollars. I know exactly what he made and uh, where he lived and the whole nine yards and what he did for a living. And uh, the man's a liar. That's just all there is to it. You can uh, rest assured that uh, a, a person that uh, that would uh, have all that he had would uh, would sure not resort to something like this. So it's kind of evident. But anyways, uh, uh, go ahead there, Ryan. Yeah, I don't know if you still got a copy on me or not. I'm getting ready to cross the uh, Indiana line here. Uh, kind of cute, isn't it? Piece of shit. It kind of fades out a little bit. I don't know if you still got a copy or not. Yeah, I got a good copy on you there. You're just coming out of, out of Michigan? Yeah, I'm getting ready to cross the line. I got to get some gas. So, uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, was, uh, I guess, an uh, ongoing battle there earlier on 7200. I guess you missed the show. So, anyways, I'll let you go so you can uh, maybe knock down the dog down a peg or two there. Get him straightened out if you can. KD9CAC, I'm clear. All right, very good. I'm not going to expound too much about this because uh, it doesn't do no good, you know. It really don't. Uh, uh, he's an anal retentive individual, and uh, he knows it, and everybody else knows it. So uh, I'm not going to add no more fuel to the fire. But, you know, I just want to say that the man's a liar, and uh, I have no respect for anybody that forces forces his wife while he sits at home and waits. He's waiting for that government check, you know, and forces his wife to, to continuously work and uh, ride the bus in the morning to get to work so they don't have to spend money on insurance and uh, uh, gasoline for the car. Uh, is a sad, a sad human being, that's for sure. And he ought to be embarrassed and 
he is. That's the reason why he does this. He waits until she leaves, goes to work, and he gets on the radio, and he spews off all the feelings that he sees. He's looking at the man in the mirror and basically portraying that to the rest of us, how he feels about himself. So his kids don't want nothing to do with him. His wife is probably actually glad to go to work, but even though she is pretty much forced to have to go because uh, if he, if they don't, they lose the house, and then they'll be parked in the, one of those their dumps across the street from where he lives now. So, Anyways, uh, hey, listen, I just wanted to jump in there, say uh, good evening to everybody. This is Whiskey Ocean 9 Echo. Hey, hey, what are you talking about, I've got a challenge for you. If you're any man at all, you'll go on QRZ and put your real address on QRZ instead of a post office box. Who are you talking about, Darren? Uh, I was talking about Mike there. Mike over there. Uh, I've uh, I've been by his place and looked at it over real good there. Listened to him run his mouth to make sure that's where it was he lived. And uh, it is exactly where he lives. I gave that information out probably about a month ago or so. And uh, old Mike was uh, running his pie hole. He was cutting on somebody. I forgot who it was. But uh, it don't bother me when he runs his mouth about me because he he don't know me. He don't know nothing about me. Uh, he, he gets all wound up because I live in the Hoosier National Forest. But uh, everything that I have is bought and paid for. And he can't stand that. But uh, anyways, and I make more money than he does. And he can't stand that either. So he always likes to try to belittle people. I've listened, listened to him talk to other people and tell them that like, it looks like this new guy that came out on the radio from New York or New Jersey starts telling him how dumpy his place is. He ain't never been to the man's house. The man don't own squat diddle and he's telling everybody how trashy they are. He is looking at himself in through the mirror. He's a skinny little peewee looking of a man. Anyways, Whiskey Ocean 9 Echo. Wait, well, which mic are you talking about? What's his call sign? Oh, uh, what is that? W uh, W four. Uh, I got it written down w here somewhere. I don't know. I, I try not. Listen, I have kind of threw him to the back burner. That's how much I don't even care about the dude. Uh, I don't talk to him. Uh, whenever I hear you guys talking, I talk to you about him. But I will never, ever, ever uh, uh, give him the the grace of talking to me. There ain't no way in the world I would ever talk to that fella. I did it one time, and uh, it didn't take long to figure out what he was. He's, he's the, he is just filled with lies and deceit. Hey, yeah, sounds like an asshole. But anywho, yeah, I was just curious there as uh, listening to you, and I was like, who the hell is he talking about? <laughs> uh, I was trying to think here. W, uh, I got one of the stupid cards he sent me. Let me look here. I'll tell you. Let's see here. Poor fella. You see what he looks like. He feels kind of sorry for him. He looks like a little bit taller of a virgin, a version of uh, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> 